Voice of College Football here. Please like and subscribe. Get on over to uh, Clint's uh, Dogs podcast. It's typically uh, Clint and Daniel getting together, locked on uh, Bulldogs, uh, deliver it uh, on Twitter as well. You see the Twitter handle right there. Before we really grind down to 2024, you mentioned the name Ryan Day. I mentioned Alabama. So I don't know how much cross-sectional mm. conversation that you hear out there versus possibly being a little bit more isolated with your Georgia fans uh, and, and your podcast and so forth. But I'm just a bit curious, considering the way those, we will call them national championship games. One was, one was a de facto national championship game yep. of sorts. And of course we know Ohio State had a two score lead. Marvin Harrison gets knocked out. It's an extremely close game. They miss a 50 yard field goal year before Alabama's got a lead with four or five minutes left. They throw, you know, they blindside Stetson Pennant, score that touchdown. It looks like they're going to win the national championship. And of course he comes back and, and pulls it mm. out and Georgia gets the pick six to ice it, but no John Mechie, Jamison Williams lost during that game as well. How many Georgia haters do you hear from, whether it be from those two fan bases or just that, Hey, you guys get a little bit lucky in 21 and 22. Oh my gosh. We have learned. I, I did not know Ohio state Buckeye fan. I did not know. And, and if you're listening to this, look, I, I'm, I'm a Georgia Homer. I'm a fan. When people come on the podcast, they're like, you're just a Homer. I'm like, you're dang right. Like I love doing this podcast because I love being a fan of Georgia. Of course I'm a Homer. It just so happens that I'm able to give some, some insight to it because I actually do uh, know a thing or two about football, but I am a fan and, and we talk like fans, but man, Ohio state uh, has just come out of the woodwork in, in recent years. Uh, and it's this Midwest. I, I, I lived in the Midwest for a hot minute. The Midwest pride is so, so deep out there. Uh, in Ohio State and Michigan, uh, there's 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 this sense of uh, of just prestige when you talk of their programs. Um, and so we have a good laugh. We we try our, our best to poke fun at, at Urban Meyer, the, the chancellor of integrity and and how he's he's not. We, we make fun of that. But we also give credit. Man, I think Ohio State, um, we did a whole uh, episode talking about if Ohio State doesn't win it this year, is Ryan Day on the hot seat? Um, and we had Ohio State fan in the comments saying, yeah, actually, he doesn't win a championship. I'm scratching my head and I'm wondering, is this the dude? Because they have the most talent. I actually would would probably rank them preseason number one because of the talent. Quarterback question marks everywhere. But running back, they got one A, one B. Defense is loaded. They got a number of transfers that are just going to hit. Uh, question comes down to quarterback play. But we do. We, we're here in Ohio State Buckeye fan quite a bit. Alabama fan is our favorite. Um, because they will tell us constantly um, when we talk, when, when we even utter just historically talking about, hey, we, we won back to back national championships. They say, hey, that's that's in the past. We're, we're here to the future. And I go, OK, great. Let's talk about the future. They, they want to raise an SEC championship banner. And Daniel and I are on a record of saying in the in the post uh, 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 BCS and, and now in the college football playoff format. Uh, SEC championships are not banners that we want to brag about. We want to brag about national championship because the playoff is the gauntlet that's there. Uh, and so we do get a good laugh at Alabama coming at us talking about the SEC championship. Be like, I, we sincerely don't care. We want trophies. Uh, we don't want the banners. Uh, and so those two teams are huge haters and surprisingly enough, Clemson fan. We've we've had a couple of this is now we're going to have another kickoff to the season. A couple of years ago, we had the kickoff season. This year, we're going to have the kickoff season against Clemson. And man, there's some pride there. And, and it's a rivalry that's that's renewed and stoked again. So we hear lots of hate from those three fan bases quite a bit. 